Right, anyway, don't let the old man in. Um, it came about when I was going to have my hair cut, inspirational haircut. So I go to my local place and we were talking about like negativity. It was, I don't know how it came about. It's some person was talking about, oh, I'm so old. And then oh, I'm sure I can mention his name. So I'm going to give him a bit of a shout out. It's Ollie's Barber, local to me. His name's Ian. And he said, Why is I it got told, Ollie? yeah, his name's Ollie. It's, Ian's, it's Ian, but it's Ollie's Barber. Yeah. Oh, it's, right, it's, okay. He named it after his lad, his family. Yeah, and uh, he was having a chat in the, in the barber's chair and it's neg- always negatively going around. He said, don't let the old man in. It's a saying. His dad used to tell him, don't let the old man in. And and, and, it, and it's not this is not like, um, I suppose, a uh, having to go at old men or whatever because I'm getting to this age where I'm getting older, etc. But it's about the mindset. So we can get older in age, but we, we can adopt a mindset. We don't have to let the old man in. I really love this, by the way. It's like, because I've known young people the uh, uh, almost like adopt an old mindset even oh i can't you know oh, i'm just i just can't do it or it will be like they might be like 25 oh, i'm already over the hill and they're, they're like at the prime of their life like but they're talking like they're like in their you know like near the end of their life so they've almost like ended their life before they because they've let the old man in well maybe we should call it maybe don't let the old person in because this, this goes across all genders don't let the old person in, you know so that's what I want to talk about, really. Where, when are there moments where we have let the old person? I know I have. When I was suffering, I go, oh, I do repeat this stuff, but it's about when I had my depression. I was really not in a great place. I didn't think I could do a lot, and I'm, you know, all that sort of stuff. And it really had about it had effect on me. And so when I play things like tennis, which I'm going to go off this podcast, by the way, off this podcast, I'm going to play tennis. You know, I could go well. I had that, that person's young, a lot younger than me. Well, I'm never going to have a chance. But the fact is, I've played someone who's in their 20s and I beat them at single tennis. So it's all about, it's just, it's, it's not all about, it is about mindset. But if I'd gone, oh, this, this player's well too young, is going to run around the corner and beat me, then I'd, I'd probably just sabotage myself and lose the game. Um, albeit, you know, they need a bit more practice and stuff like that. You know, they, could, they will probably will do it physically after a bit of time. But the fact that I could adopt that mindset of going, that I can win this, you know, and I feel that whole thing of not letting the old man in and that feeling that I can do this. And I'm not talking about like if I was a basketball player, I'm going to be like Michael Jordan, dunk a basket and because I, I can't do that. You know, I, there's got to be limit. There'll be a limitation, like a physical one. But to do the everyday tasks, I'm talking the everyday things or like you're going to do your gym or you're going to go to a tennis match or, you know, don't defeat yourself before you've had a chance. So this is what not letting the old man is. And this is the concept I want to explore today. Uh-huh.